Hey guys, welcome back. Uh, Steve-O here, and today I'm playing Atlas. And I just wanted to tell you a few things about Atlas. Um, mainly about farming, because um, I've been playing it for a little while, and there's no information out there that I can find about farming. So I'm going to give you a little bit of a rundown about it. Um, now, the skill trees needed to be able to unlock farming is pretty simple. Uh, you get tools of the trade, then water keeper, then you get advanced tools, or you can skip advanced tools if you really wanted to, and go down to cooking. Right, and then once you unlock the cooking section, you come across to over here, then you unlock water storage, and then basic farming. Then you can do small crop plots, the water pipe system, fertilizer, and the stone water reservoir and then you can go preservatives and secrets of farming and that unlocks the large crop plot and it doesn't it doesn't require a lot of skill points I think it's a maximum of, uh, of about um, 12 or 15 something something like that but yeah so here I've, I've hooked up a stone reservoir to another stone reservoir and those stone reservoirs are, are crafted in your smithy as well as these uh, water pipe system now when you go into the smithy it is very confusing because right, you go into the smithy and you go structures pipes and all it shows you is the stone water reservoir what you got to do is type in pipe and it will come up with the water system water pipe system then you just craft up a few of them and your crop plots you craft on you and they're really simple they only need wooden stone and you got to make sure that you have um a stone shovel or you have shovel with you it's not necessary but it's it's pretty good so what you do now is you get one of your water pipe systems now we're going to be running our water system off these irrigation um, you know stone irrigation things reservoirs but if you're really close to a um, fresh water source you can place one of these underground pipes in the fresh water and run your pipes off it but because we're nowhere near it so you can't put it in salt water won't allow you so since we're nowhere near it we've got to run it off this system now like most things in atlas um, once you've got it up like this you can hit t see and it changes to a straight water pipe now we place it there and then we get our reservoir out and we click it there so now we've got three reservoirs connected now these are because we're nowhere near fresh water sources I have water barrels full of water so you open the lid and here we can up yeah, you, open, you open the lid go into its inventory and you drop two bags two empty bags in the water and they fill up so, and now the water barrel is down to 222 you close the lid so it doesn't evaporate and then what you do is you come over to here and you put them I got a, I built a few more in advance. Now you see it only holds 200 water. All right. So what you do is we're going to be placing. Uh, unlike arc, which is similar, you can't. You don't want to place your um, crop plots on foundations because your crops won't grow. Because see when, when we go to place them 
it, see, it tells you what type of soil type it is. And it's very important um, with seeds because with seeds, see, it tells you on which type of soil it can grow. So if you place your crop plot on a foundation, it will come up with stone, uh, soil type stone or soil type wood and you won't be able to grow anything in there. So, so yeah, we're going to be placing our, ours right there. Just one for now. Oh, wrong one. And we're going to come back to here and we are going to place a straight one. And then I'm going to place push T again and go down to irrigation pipe. Boom. Now we've got an irrigation pipe hovering over it. Still no water because we haven't opened the bags yet. Because it can only hold 200 at a time. There's 200. You see? Oh, see, it's vanished. It's because it's already worked its way to the crop plot. You see? And then we just open up two more. And we're not getting exactly 200 water because these water skins lose water over time so so we open two more and that should go up to near should go up to yep fully irrigated now what we can do is Take these out, the empty ones. See, it's holding 200 water. And we put a couple of full ones in this one. Two hundred water in that. There we go. Now we've got 600 water up there, spare. Crop pot full of water. Now, fertilizer is really easy to make in this game. All you require is thatch. You need 50 thatch and one feces. And you can get that from any animal around. Doesn't matter if it's small, medium, large, whatever, just one of any type will do. And you can make one up. Just like that, see? And then you deposit it. And you come over. Once you've got fertilizer, you need seeds. So, where's my. There we go, my sickle. You can see we've got wheat, not wheat, um, rice just there. Look at that. Got some seeds. Now come over, you hold E to plant the rice. There you go. Now it says seeding. Now this is where your shovel comes into play. Where is it? There it is. Put your shovel in your inventory. Oh no, your hop bar. And it's time to play a mini game. Now, what you're going to do is strike the crop plot and uh, a little white, a little white dot will move across the a screen at just above your hop bar, and you've got to push the button and get it to stop in the white line. If you do, you get a bonus for growing and um, for growth rate and for harvest rate. And you can only do it three times. See there? Growth bonus, 
zero of three because we haven't tried we get three we get three attempts oh I didn't even see that one oh, I missed that one oh got that one oh, I got that one so there I got 14% growth growth rate bonus and once you've done it once you've done your three it will see it sounds like sounds like hitting stone you can't do it anymore yeah. and then you just wait for it to grow keep it fertilized keep your tanks topped up full of water you go even bigger than me and go like you know 20 tanks if you wanted to but yeah I'm only going to be growing one or two crop plots so yeah it's all good so yeah and just be careful in what you can place like seeds like not all seeds oh, someone's on a ship over there not all seeds will grow in this biome so you know different biomes will grow different stuff just like different islands have different food types so yeah. no worries oh well I hope I hope that um, helped you out with farming um, if you like this video please hit the like button and if you haven't already please subscribe and I'll be back with more videos in the coming days thanks guys